What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Hat Talk Army Collector Spotlight, a show where we can spotlight different collectors of the Goran community and take a look at what their collections look like, how they got started in their journey, and any stories that they might have about their collections. Today, we have a very special guest. So very special. You may know him as the charismatic one, Mr. Charisma. He's going to share his retrospective of how he got into Goran, how he started watching Hat Talk Live, and how his love of hats just evolved. So let's welcome him in, Mr. Charisma. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Big T. It's time to get awesome. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing awesome, as you are, as always, right? I'm excited to be on here, and being the first guest is awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for coming to Collector Spotlight. It's a different feel than the regular show here, right? <laughs> Yeah, I like this. This is a cool, cool atmosphere. I'm digging right. it. Absolutely. So let's. We're, this is all about you. So we want to hear about you and your journey with Goran and how you got into this and everything. So let's start off talking about like what was your first hat that you ever purchased from Goran Brothers? So the first hat I ever purchased was a fedora, uh, and it was because I was going to this really fancy party and I wanted to uh, kind of be a step above everybody else. So I started looking for fedoras and I came across Gorm Bros. So I went to the, the store and they had like some amazing fedoras. So the very first one that I got was a fedora, uh, which I don't have anymore. It got lost with a bunch of my other first purchases oh, <laughs> because exactly. back in those days I was kind of partying. So Oh, so there's a party story with this fedora then that you lost it? I lost it at a VIP room or something. I left oh, it behind. Mr. Vegas. Mr. Vegas, as some of the Hat Talk Army might know you as. Um, so that brings us to, you know, is, is there any other funny stories that you have as relation to your Goran collection or anything? I mean, is there other stories that you can bring up that might, you know, maybe some people might not have ever heard? Um, well, I started wearing... Uh, the truckers fairly early on uh so the first hat that i ever got was the king hat okay. the trucker king hat um that one also got lost in vegas somewhere <laughs> so unfortunately you know rest in peace and then i got the black sea pad rest in peace to that one it got lost a long we're seeing way. a pattern here there's a little bit of a pattern here this is old charisma little, not current charisma uh, that's old charisma these are the first two that i have like the trucker ones which is uh, this one right here was the third hat that I got. It's kind of, you know, it's been around. And then this one was customized on the website. I customized this one because that was a feature they had back then. So these are my two trucker hats that I still own. But as far as funny, um, you know, that was part of the funny that I lost a few of them. But also people started recognizing me <laughs> because of the hats. And I started being labeled as, you know, the the hat guy. So very early on, I kind of got recognized as the one that would wear the hats and people would always give me compliments, be where I'm like, where'd you get your hat? Like, I love that hat. So very early on, like I started getting complimented because of the, the Gorn hats. Nice, nice. So aside, you know, losing hats and then being recognized. So this journey has brought you like, you know, so much joy. I mean, like, and you know, I know you have over a hundred hats. Uh, we don't even have to give out the exact number or anything, but um you within the past you know it's a little over a year now um there's some you know other funny moments that you you started watching in the show i believe in like february of 22 the hat talk live show i think you started watching yeah it was around there i'm not exactly sure when i started but i just remember seeing you being very passionate uh you know you you had a love of hats and like and that came out on on your show so very early on i was just like really attracted to the passion that you had the conviction that you had and that you're like oh this guy this guy's good like so i was drawn to your to the channel but um the very first time that we interacted and that's why i'm wearing this hat because uh you were talking about the sneaky hat and i just happened to go on the website on it was a thursday right the hat's not gonna drop until friday i went on the website just randomly and i saw it was on sale I'm like is this right so i'm like i'm like whoa it's available so then i said big t uh the hat's actually available and you were like who is this <laughs> you're like yeah right like are you serious yep. and i'm like no i don't lie about it that was what i said it's like i don't lie when it comes to hats yep. i don't joke about it yeah i remember that and it was then, like it was 10 p.m and we were live and uh you, you had said that the, the hat had dropped on the website. I didn't believe it. 
And then I checked it for myself on the iPad. And then sure enough, it was showing up on it. It was a glitch. It was an accident. It was right around the time they were transitioning to the first app. And uh, some things like with Shopify or something mixed up or whatever, and ha- accidentally slipped onto the website early. But it just happened to be while Hat Talk Live was on. So um, very cool moment for you. Is that your favorite Hat Talk Live moment? Or do you have any other favorite moments that you, you wanted to? I mean, my favorite hat talk moment was just meeting you in San Diego because we were already we were already friends. But I think that kind of solidified it. You were going through some some tough times at that time, and uh, yeah. you know. But for me, that was my moment like that I liked the most because I actually got to hang out with hang out with you one to one in yep. your room. You didn't quite let me stay in the room with yep. you, but Absolutely. I still had a great time. So that's my favorite moment was just you know meeting you, me and Grogu meeting you in real life. Absolutely. So back to your collection, like, uh, what is your favorite hat? We went over your first induction, you know, your collect induction into your collection, but what is your favorites that you have? Yeah, I'm not going to say my favorite, but I'll say a few that are my favorites. Okay. Uh, this is one of my favorites squad. I love this hat. I remember you talking about those hats, by the way, too. Yep. Summer nights. Clingy. Yep. One of my favorites. Vegas Fashion Week 2022. Boss. Insert coin. Yep. And I don't know why. I just really love this one. Totally. Yeah, we don't see too much of that blue. I think that might be part of your reason for seeing that because you do like the blue hats too. Blue and orange are my favorite colors. Um, I also, I forgot to bring out Fighter, but Fighter, the original Fighter, is also one of my favorites. Yeah, the one that's kind of like a purple and blue. Yeah, that one is one of my favorites as well. I wear that one. I just wore that one yesterday. Do you have a favorite from this year so far? Like a Friday drop or a capsule or anything like that? Yeah, um, I have two. I couldn't decide which one's my favorite. Um, these will probably surprise you guys, but uh, Pat's work. I really like that whole set. Um, one of my nicknames is Squirrel, so I love this. Uh, this was one of my first hats, right? So it makes sense that this is going to be one of my new favorites. And then this one, because, hey, that's when I'm, Captain Charisma is my nickname. So I really love that they made a captain hat. So these are probably like my two favorites of this year. Um, it's going to be, it's hard to put like a top list together. But for now, it could change. But for now, those are my favorites. Both both capsule drops. That's interesting. Nautical Nonsense and the Patchwork Capsule are two of your favorites. So that's, that's, that's interesting that those are your favorites from this year. Um, Anything else that you wanted to share with the army? You have any other, you know, stories or insight or anything else that you wanted to share as a collector? Yeah. So uh, I loved the Mina collection when I first started. Um, so I really got into this, the fedoras and some of these kind of hats. Um, you know, this, this was like a big, like this kind of like the inside of these hats back when I first started collecting just the yep. artwork that they would do. Cause it was like, artist that would design the the mina collection and i I sort of had this let me get this one so this is one of the the first fedoras that i had as well right and then you know you see kind of like the artwork that they have yeah and one of my uh favorite goran moments was memories was just kind of going to uh this they had like this uh art gallery kind of thing uh this was i don't remember like 2012 and it was like the amina artwork thing and i just got to go there and meet a whole bunch of goran collectors that love fedoras and like got to meet some of the artists and they had like awesome paintings on the wall from from minna so uh that was one of my favorite moments and kind of like started getting me involved in the hat community but i just didn't really communicate with anybody that's why i think what you're doing is amazing because you really brought the hat community together uh because there's a whole bunch of us that are obsessed with these hats we just don't really have a way to all communicate yeah that's great and and you're a big part of that too so you're a big part of the army we've done podcasts together we've you've been on hat talk live many times and everything so you're a great asset as part of the hat talk live army and uh, you're much appreciated and thank you very much for even being a part of the hat talk army collector spotlight first episode i appreciate you coming on today is there anything you know you want to share your instagram or your tiktok and everything like that people can find you yeah so so two things um 
first of all, before I get there, I want to say always listen to Big T when it comes to hacks because I was not going to get this. I was like, I don't know how I feel. Uh, but then he's like, you know, you want to get this one. So I'm like, okay, I got it. Mine does have the little black. There you, little you, black there you go. There you go. By the way, yeah. And then yep. this one just came in right now. Uh, and I don't know. This might be one of my new favorites, too, because this also just came in. And there I love go. blue. I love this, like, kind of Royal Navy blue. Uh, so recent, thank recent you. pickups. And Big T we trust is what we said last night. Big T we <laughs> Trust absolutely. As far as my social media, uh, you can follow me on Instagram um, at uh, Captain Charisma, and on TikTok, you definitely want to follow me there because I always am rocking the hats. But I'm also talking about financial education and mentality. You can follow me at Wealth Growth Hacks. Definitely do that. Definitely follow this man on TikTok and on and on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for coming on the first episode of Collector Spotlight. Much appreciated. And you showed everybody out there in the Hat Talk Army exactly how this is done. So this is the template. This is the premiere pilot episode of Collector Spotlight. So this man just gave you the blueprint of how to conduct yourself when on the Hat, the Hat Talk Army Collector Spotlight. Um, and if you want to be a part of Collector Spotlight, you can send me a DM on Instagram at Big T5279, and we'll get you scheduled to come on a future episode of Collector Spotlight. We're going to be doing many of these throughout the future, and we'll be doing this uh, from time to time. So, again, thank you so much, Mr. Charisma, for coming in today, and uh, we'll see you on Hat Talk Live very soon, I'm sure. Thanks so much for having me on. It was definitely a privilege to be your first guest. Appreciate you. Awesome. All right. As always, I'm Big T, and he's Mr. Charisma. We'll see you on another episode of Collector Spotlight or Hat Talk Live every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on YouTube. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day. Peace.